Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Snow Runner, my own self-imposed hardcore mode. So we are right now on Island Lake and I have done a few things since the last episode. I haven't done any missions, but I do want to show you that over here on Drummond Island there are no longer any trailers here. I've hauled all of them away. And I have taken most of them to the Smithville Dam and taken them up here and dropped them off here at the trailer store. Nope, wrong trailer store. So, as you can see, there are a lot of trailers here. And at some point, well, when I get done with uh, doing all of the missions in Michigan, then I'm going to come back to each one of these trailer stores and sell all of the trailers and see how much money we can make just by selling trailers. Uh, here on this map, because we are on Island Lake, uh, I have already started uh, trailer stores over here. So I do have a lot of trailers still in the field. But I started putting a couple of them over here that I'm not going to use. And I still have like seven trailers out here that I am using. So what we're going to do first is I have the P-16 sitting here. And I brought this trailer, the flatbed, brought it over from Drummond Island. And it has two uh, wooden planks on it, which is exactly what I need for this, the corporate expansion. So I'm going to take care of that. Then I'm going to come over here and I have the Western Star. It's sitting here getting ready to do the power lines. So I have two metal on that, and I pick the metal up here. So there was a trailer sitting here with two metal beams in it. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to fix that one. And then I'm going to run down here and come this way and fix this one. Then... Uh, I'm going to take the truck on over here. Uh, I have the... Uh, which truck did I have over here? Oh, I have the uh, Navstar. The Navstar is sitting here with one metal plank on it. Because I picked that trailer up over here and it had one metal plank and two concretes. So I came over here, I dropped off the two concretes. Uh, you can see the concrete here and put them there and I have the one metal plank on here or metal beam and I also have three wooden planks I'm going to need three wooden planks because I have two more bridges to do tough negotiations which is here it's going to require two and bridge the gap is also going to require two but I could only hold three on there. So the Western Star, once I'm done with that, will pick up the uh, Huntsman's, or maybe won't. Yeah, that might be something I'll do with the P-16. Bring the P-16 back over here and pick up another wood and then bring it over here to finish out this delivery. So maybe I can get that in in an hour. We're going to give it a try. Uh, the Huntsman's car, I took the uh, Fleet Star over here. So the Fleet Star is sitting here, ready to load anything else I need because there's a loading station here. And I went ahead and pulled the Huntsman's car out and brought it over here. And what I may go ahead and do is use the Fleet Star to pull this over here. Uh, don't know yet. We'll see what happens. And then the Fleet Star can go back. 
because I don't think I'm really going to need the Fleet Star over here now. Uh, right now I don't have a trailer on it. I just have the big crane. So I can't tell what I can load from here, but I think it is metal and wood planks is what I can load there. And if it is, then I really don't need it over there. So let's get after it. Well. So I've already set a waypoint up here. And as you can see, I have two wooden planks on here. And as I said before, the pig here cannot haul uh, the, or excuse me, the only add-on you can get for this is the high saddle, but it can pull trailers like this. And since the 5.0 update, this ramped flatbed actually works now. Because what it used to do was, if you were down here, and if your camera crossed that, it would jump up like this. And you couldn't see anything in front of you. So every time that trailer crossed over the camera, it would jump. Now they have it fixed. So this is a trailer that you can use, and you won't have any difficulties. So it is a good trailer to pull behind the P-16. Because we want to give the P-16 some exercise. It's a truck you can use for a lot of missions. You don't just have to use it to haul the construction rig trailers. Because it's actually a pretty good truck on this map. The mud doesn't even slow it down. So let's show the task and accept it, but I am not going to track it because I'm already tracking the power lines and I know where this bridge is. It is right there. See the yellow dancing ants? So one more mission complete, and we are fast running out of missions. So in the next probably three episodes, I will be heading to Alaska, because I will have Michigan done. Now we are not near complete with Michigan. I still have some containers to pick up and these huge dancing ants here this is where I can pick up uh, the huge containers so I'll show you real quick the drilling equipment we need I think four of them in total and they take up four cargo slots uh, right now I have three trucks over here that can pull them one needs to go to Drummond Island still, but I will have to get a crane out to load it up. So that will be the Fleet Stars job. It's the only crane I have out here that is big enough to lift those. And when we get to that mission you'll see that there are three drilling platforms here and you can get those from any of the three so you don't have to get one from each so once I get to decide which one I want to use I'll take the Fleet Star out there and it can load them up
every map has its own challenges. The big challenge on this map is the fact that there is a lot of mud, a lot of boggy areas, and everything is really spaced out. You also have no fuel station. So there are plenty of tankers here. You just have to move them where you need them. So we're going to go left here and we're going to head over to the sawmill so that I can load at least one more plank on here. And I may just do two and get rid of the one off of the Navistar. There's no, whoa, 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 whoa. no sense in taking them both out here if I don't need to. Here on the road. It always helps when you drive on the road. I didn't even remember leaving this trailer out here. So I do not need this trailer out here. I can pull it back. Let's go to our trailer view. Make sure I get that hitch up off ground. Ah, oh, shoot. So to get to the trailer view, if you don't know, your right joystick, uh, right now I'm in third person, if I push down on the right joystick, I go to trailer view, so I can see what's going on behind the trailer. And if I click it again, then I have my first person. Hopefully this little sideboard trailer won't give me any issues coming across the bridge. And it did not. Good. Sometimes if you don't get those hitches up off the ground, they will dig into the ground and it will stop you cold. Okay, let's try to take this as wide as I can. Drop that trailer off. Just scoot that trailer around. Uh oh. Scoot it around too much. Okay, I'll be able to get in there now. And I did say we're going to do the Western Star next. 
So the Western Star is sitting here, and again, I got the trailer from back that way. And it was just sitting here just like this. So I did not have to load anything. So that's the first one down. So I use the Western Star here to take all those trailers and distribute them where they needed to go at the trailer store. And in gameplay, it took me pretty much a day and a half. It took me all night, all day, and then most of the night in order to haul those trailers out and take them to Smithfield Dam. There were a lot of trailers over there. Uh, I did take the Chevy pickup over there because there was one flatbed trailer for a scout. Alright, so I need to go right here. And it's just under a half a mile as the crow flies. I'm trying to do this as efficiently as possible. And I haven't looked yet, but I probably will after this episode. Look at my other playthrough when I got to Alaska and just go through them and see how many trailers I actually have in Alaska. I don't think there's that many. But one of the things I am going to do with Alaska, unlike I did with uh, Michigan here, I'm just taking scout vehicles and vehicles that I know uh, can do scouting like this one. So fully upgraded. Uh, it actually runs better than the scouts do through the deep snow. And I'm going to use them to open up all of the watchtowers on all four maps and pick up all of the upgrades. And also go ahead and get the vehicles. There are several vehicles that I can get. And I'm going to go ahead and pick them up and do whatever missions I need to do in order to collect those. having played this before uh, I know that I need certain vehicles for certain missions and certain vehicles handle better than other vehicles So just playing with the front and back end of this trailer. Make sure that I can clear this without clipping that. 
or without clipping this pole. And no problem. Just takes a little finesse sometimes. Once I get this mission completed and get the uh, two bridges, the other two bridges I need built, as soon as I get them built, then I am going to do the cargo container mission and get that one out of the way. And I think we should be about ready. Oh, it's Huntsman. We should be about ready to move that big construction rig trail. I will have to deliver uh, one of these containers over to Drummond Island, like I said, before I can open up the mission to deliver the construction rig trailer. And there's actually four container, or five containers that I need. I need one going to. No, this might be four. Uh, because I will have to pick up one here. And you can see the dancing ants just over my smokestack out there. And I know that that container goes up to a radio tower. But I have not opened up that mission yet because I have not taken the taken a scout vehicle up there to open it. All right, so that's that one down. So let's head over here because I do have the Huntsman's vehicle over here. And what I can do is just drop off this trailer and use the truck to pull that vehicle where it needs to go. Step in low gear here. So you can see the International Scout straight ahead of me. That's the Huntsman's vehicle. And detached trailer. That's going to be hard to pick up, but we'll be able to do it. So now the Navstar. Navistar. And I went ahead and I dropped off. Since I had the Navistar here, and because the Caterpillar does not have a bed on it, uh, I went ahead and took off three wood beams and stacked them up there uh, so I didn't have to keep switching vehicles and going into cargo management So for this one, the fallen power line is over here, so I just go down this road, and what I can do is go ahead and do the bridge gap, and then, yeah, I don't know, that's a pretty nasty turn there, getting back up here. 
but it's the hmm. otherwise I gotta come down here and I just think no I think I'll do this one and then take the wood over to this one and do that one and let the P16 uh, do the bridge gap it's less it will have to drive because it is a slower vehicle But if it does that, I would accept that. Yep. Uh, it won't have to make that turn coming back out of here, and I'll show you the turn here in a second. road so here's the turn you would have to make in order to go out this way and it'd be just easier to come out and make a right there instead of trying to make this left You don't want to get too far off the roads on this map. Is that those boggy areas? Uh, they are a pain in the butt to navigate. I figure a vehicle like the Tega would do pretty good, probably. But the vehicles I have available to me now, they will get through it. But there will be some winching involved and a lot of slow movement. Okay, we'll hit that tree over there. I'm lucky. But it did not flip it. Okay, so I want to go here to tough negotiations. Yeah, it's one of those trees when you go by, one of these down trees. You go by it, and then it just jumps out in the road. Start tracking that. And let's see how this truck does in some serious mud. Doesn't do too bad. So not much money or driver points, but every little bit helps here is the other abandoned drilling rig that you can get the cargo containers from and this is probably the one that I'm going to use 
uh, because it is closest to the destination. Alright, so I can get rid of that. I don't need it anymore. And there's no sense in getting out of here. I'm going to have to come over here and load up anyway. Yeah, let's go around this way. Because I want to find out where it's going to put the cargo containers. I'm thinking it's going to be right over here. So let's find out. I was hoping it'd let me drop several of them, but it won't. So here's where I'm going to have to load them up. Which is fine. So off to the P16. One more bridge to build. Flip. Get my concrete blocks. And I think I'm going to do this in the future. Just go ahead and leave cargo laying on the ground. Figure out what cargo I need, which will save me a few steps in the future. I just spend a few minutes and just dropping all different types of cargo on the ground. And since I have to manually load everything. Okay. I thought I got one of the other ones. Spin you around. Close enough. Yeah, this will be much easier than to keep going into cargo mode every time I want to load something. Pack my cargo. Make sure they both got packed. So I am coming up here. Why did it not? There we go. And right there. And I could have took the smaller trailer. That'd 
been easier to turn around, but that wouldn't be any fun. I plan on using this combination quite a bit when I get to Alaska. There are some areas that are just almost impassable for anything but this truck or the P-12. And I am hoping Cargo. Why does it give me cargo management? I still have cargo management. I don't know. That's weird. I wonder if I hit that. It does. See, that shows another cargo over there. So I'm way out here and I can still load a cargo. must have glitched the game somehow. Anyway, I was saying that I hope I have enough money from the sale of the trailers to buy the P-16, or the uh, P-12. Uh-oh. Go back over to Caterpillar. Okay. And let's go back to the P-16. There we go. So, don't know what that was all about, but... Easily fixed. So come up here, turn this monster around. And then I have a Huntsman's vehicle to deliver. So this is the other one that you can go to to load the containers. And like I said, you can load them all from one. It doesn't matter. If I wanted to, I could do cargo management and drop it right there. But I think the one that uh, I'm going to use is a more, it's an easier location because it is over here and three of the drilling equipments Nope, that one's done. Dyson Diesel. So they need to go to the warehouse. So it's easier to get them from here and just take them around here because I will be passing by a fuel tanker and just deliver them oh, excuse me, deliver them over to here. It'd be easier to do that than to try to get them from here or from here. 
it's a longer drive plus you have that transition getting up on here and I have tried it before and with a container it is really tippy You can imagine coming out of here with a big container on here. And trying to make that turn. If you don't do it just right, sucker will flip on you. But it's more challenging, so. Get this up here out of the way. Um, yeah, I'll go right here. And we're going to go back to the Western Star. And let's go ahead and deliver this. Those tire marks were already on the side of it. And I'm not going to put any fuel in it. If I had a scout vehicle, I would have to do that. Because the scout vehicles would not be able to pull it through here uh, without a little bit of help. And the Western Star doesn't need help. Don't make a liar out of me. Sharp left. And I believe we're almost there. Yep, right up there. And 
let's get this mission up. What? Okay, I was about to say. I knew it was over here. Well, I was pretty sure it was over here. bit of money, a little more driver points. So head back, hook up to my trailer, and I think I'm going to do the signal in the mountains next. Uh, that way I don't have to come back over this way. And it's a pretty big container. Same size as the drilling equipment. So since I have to drive right past the loading point, and I've got to take both vehicles out, I might as well get it loaded. Which it will be interesting because I've always auto loaded, auto loaded it, and it is really muddy to get over to the loading area. So I'm not sure how this will work. But I've got enough time to figure it out. if I don't trip this trailer over. And it looks like I won't. Good. Change trucks and restore the crane. Let's go ahead and start it up and make sure it is, oops, make sure it is in. Oh, it didn't restore crane. Okay, Get out of crane mode, and make sure it's in all-wheel drive. Definitely don't want to drive down in there. Let's try going up this way. And I'll just bring the fleet star to me. So the fallen antenna is where I'm heading. Oh. Fleet Star.
up to my trailer mode or trailer view. And let's head over here. Still with me? I'm hoping it will be less tippy if it's towed than if I drove it. But I don't know that to be a fact. It does seem to be less tippy. You've got a vehicle that tips a lot. If you tow it, it won't tip as much. Here is the fun part. I'll release that. Because you really have to back up in here. That is not the easiest thing to do. back in the other way. There are a lot of stumps out here. So I think Nope, I gotta go a little bit more to the left as I'm looking at it. Too far. Get it to go straight back. And I don't know if I can load it manually from here. It is not allowing me to manually load. Once I get the truck out, um, hmm. the only other thing I can think of doing, because it might be because the trailer is in there, attaching the trailer and getting the back end of the truck barely in there. See if it will. If it doesn't, then this will be one of those that I have to auto load. Oh shoot, it won't let me. It won't let me because I don't have anything to load it onto. Hmm, I guess I could. Go 
over here and back the trailer further in the swamp. Okay, turn that way. And leave that middle open. I just want to give it every opportunity to let me manually load before I do an auto load. Nope. So you cannot. Okay. You cannot auto or you cannot manually load here. And I don't remember if it's one cargo container or two. So in order to find that out, I need... The Lodestar. Which is up here, and I need to go all the way over here. I forgot about you being up here. So how do I get you out? I need to go the way I came. Because I will go through this area. Uh, there's something else I got to do through here, I believe. And I have a pretty full tank, and my gas cans are full. I have very little damage yet. That should be okay. here and I'll go ahead up there and check it out uh, before the end of the episode I'm thinking I have to do this mission before it will give me the other mission. I believe the other mission uh, is up here is where the starting point is, where you've got to accept it. That's not it. So it's been awful quiet here at my house for the last hour, which is good because when I'm recording this is July 1st and the idiots have been setting off fireworks for the last two hours.
I can understand setting off fireworks. I like fireworks. And you don't need to set them off three days before the 4th of July on a Wednesday at 10 o'clock at night when people are trying to get some sleep because they have to work on Thursday. That's just rude and obnoxious behavior. What I'll do? Must have shut the engine off by accident. Last time I did this mission, I did it with a Chevy truck. And boy, that Chevy did not like this. It did not like coming through that. So it is a fairly big dancing ant circle. And show task. Uh, we need to grab some parts and get them to the tower. So that is fallen antenna. And the fallen antenna requires one cargo container. All right, so that's fairly easy. I have one loaded up. And we will make that delivery in the next episode. I am also going to go ahead and load up the Navistar with one of the containers that needs to go to Drummond Island to the port and then we'll make that delivery and that'll leave me two vehicles left here that can haul trailers we can haul those containers and we will start making some deliveries and getting one of the last missions that we need to accomplish completed and that will probably take me most of the next episode. So the episode after that should be delivering the construction rig trailer. And I thought about going over there, but there are trees over here. And we can get finished with this map. And hopefully not well maybe depends on how much well, I kind of want to wait till I get them all done because I was thinking I could go ahead and I could do that go ahead and just sell off all the trailers that I have extra just keep the ones that I absolutely need for the last mission and we will see how much money we can make Wow, this is going to be a pain in the butt. And I didn't make it. 
Okay, so while I dig myself out of here, uh, leave me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's anything that I can do differently. If you didn't like the videos. And if you liked them, leave a like. Uh, that way. There we go. So I will see you in the next episode. So until then, have a good one.